In this video, we go over what I think is the best unofficial add-on controller for Serato DJ, and that's the Native Instruments Traction Control X1 Mark I. We'll go over my mapping for this and why I think it's the best option. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So the Tractor Control X1 Mark I is my choice for a Serato DJ add-on controller that's not an official you know, add-on controller like the Pioneer DJ SP1, which is awesome by the way, but I wanted something a little bit more budget friendly and as well as I wanted something that would fit in more situations because the problem for me with the SP1 is the size. It's just such a big controller. You're not going to be able to fit it in most boots unless you have an extra stand or something like that or another situation where you can actually get it to fit somewhere in your setup in all boot situations. What I like about this, the X1, is that it's pretty slim. It doesn't take up a lot of room. You can place it in between the turntable or the mixer or on the outside. I usually put it on the outside of the turntable just so I have, you know, the clean and very close proximity between the turntable and the mixer so I can get to all the controls. And this stays uh, pretty much near the same side as my computer so I can, you know, select songs as well as get all of my extra mapping and all the cue points and effects and stuff all in one spot without having to reach one way and then the other. So that makes a lot of sense for me. So again, the size of this thing was a real big draw for me. I love that it's up and down so it kind of makes sense where this side is in the left deck and this side is a right deck. Awesome design in that regard. Now, this is a tractor um, controller, but Native Instruments does offer an actual Serato mapping, but I believe they only had a Serato Scratch Live mapping because this thing is uh, so old. I mean, they have the X1 Mark II now, but I preferred this one because it had more you know, buttons and things that I could map. So let me go through what I have all of these map to so it can make sense to you. I'll just go ahead and use this side as an example because this side is mirrored onto this side as well. So here at the top, you'll have four knobs and four buttons. Now these are in control of my effects in Serato DJ. Now I use the single effect mode. So if you've seen my setup, you know it's usually on break echo um, with the mode change to fade. So with that, I can control not only, you know, the uh, wet dry of the actual signal but things like the feedback as well as the amount of the filter that's applied and then also too I have these knobs right here at the bottom mapped to the actual beats selection of the actual effect unit so I can scroll between what I usually have at one beat or scroll down and get it to a half beat whatever the situation calls for now you're wondering you might be wondering why I don't have it mapped up here and that's because in my mind, I kind of have this mirror the actual Serato DJ layout. So this knob right here, this row of knobs is actually mapped to the looping. So if I go ahead and just load a track, now you can see right here that I'm moving the auto loop with this one knob. And then if I press down, it'll engage the loop. So I have that set to the auto loop and if you look underneath that in the actual Serato DJ uh, GUI, the actual effects is underneath where the auto loop is. So to me that makes more sense where if I'm looking at the controller, it kind of mirrors more what I'm seeing on the actual computer screen as well. So that takes care of this, this section. Now these buttons right here, if you see that they're actually mapped for Tractor for turning on effects banks one and two on either side of the deck. but because I use single you know, effects mode and I have the effects for uh, effects one on this deck and the effects two on this deck, I really don't have to turn these on and off because they kind of mirror each other, at least in my setup. So what I do use a lot of is the actual beat jump control. So these are mapped to the beat jumps in Serato DJ. So I can just go ahead and use these to beat jump without having to you know, grab the mouse and click on the screen. So it's really nice to have tactile buttons to go ahead and beat jump through the actual, you know, interface. The one thing that isn't mappable with this is the ability to change the beat jump amount. So I always have it set to 16 and I just know that, okay, every time I hit this, it's going to be four bars. So that just works for me in the way I use beat jump. 
but you can have it set to whatever you want. But just again, one thing to think about is that the actual beat jump amount is not controllable on the controller. And that's one thing that I have to change on the computer. Now, as we move down, you'll see that these are lit up and that's because these are mapped to the actual cue points. So Serato DJ now has eight cue points. So I have eight cue points going along per deck. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can see, I can click through and if I eject the song, those turn off. So the MIDI uh, lighting output was a really cool feature that they really kind of fine tuned with Serato DJ in comparison to Scratch Live. So not only does the actual, you know, lighting for the cue points uh, work, but if I turn on the effects, that's mapped as well. So I know when I have my effects on and off. So that's a nice visual representation. And before MIDI uh, lighting output was available, it's something that I always have to double check with the actual screen on Serato, uh, back then Serato Scratch Live. But now I have the ability to see on my controller if it's working or not. So that's awesome. Now again, the mapping isn't you know that in depth, but to me, it covers a lot of the functions that I need. So again, I have my effects controls here at the top. Then I have my looping controls, as well as the uh, beats for the effects controls down here, and they're flipped that way because of the interface. I have my beat jump controls right here in the middle, and it makes sense because I have left and right for both decks. And then down here, I have my cue point section, eight cue points for each deck. So all in all, really nice build. You can see this thing isn't the you know nicest and prettiest controller right now, because this has been through war with me. I've taken this thing literally uh, internationally across the world and it's gone to hell and back with me for years at this point and it's still rock solid still working fantastically lights still work performs great and it's just a rock solid build as well as not that expensive so you, they don't really sell these brand new anymore but you can find these on eBay for pretty cheap and it's well worth it so if you're looking for an add-on controller for Serato DJ and you're not sure what to get and you don't want to spend the money on an SP-1, definitely check out this Native Instruments Track Control X1. And if you're interested in my mapping and how I've everything's set up, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and just put your email in and get that sent to you right away. So if you have one of these or you're thinking about grabbing one of these and you want an effective mapping, at least what I think is effective and it's what's worked for me night in and night out for years at this point, definitely hit that link and grab that mapping. So that's a look at <clears throat> so that's a look at using the Native Instruments Tractor Control X1 Mark One for Serato DJ. If you're interested in getting that mapping, go ahead and hit that link down below in the description. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.